For nearly a year now, Conklin has been releasing the All-American pen in these wooden finishes. And what I'm talking about here is, let's see, the first one that came out was the Walnut. The second one that came out was the Ebony. The third one I found over at Pen Boutique, and I believe it is a Pen Boutique exclusive, and that is Rosewood. And then last week, they come out with another wood, which of course, you know, I'm on a roll here, guys. I gotta keep going. Olive wood, olive wood, huh? Yeah, that sounded really fascinating to me. So uh, I first saw it advertised on Atlas Stationer's Instagram page, and they only had a rollerball. I was like, for crying out loud, rollerball? No way, dude, that's not gonna work for me. So I started looking around and I went to Pen Shell, I didn't have it yet, and I saw another place and they didn't have it yet. I don't remember what stores I looked at exactly, but finally I landed over at Goulet. And I like the Goulet Pen Company. It's just that at Goulet, I don't get my military discount that I get. Oh, well, I get a military discount or veteran discount and it's only like 5%, so it takes care of like the taxes. Uh, over at Pen Shelley, however, you get like 15% off and it really feels like, you know, a good deal that way. So, Goulet Pens charges tax and they charge for shipping, although I think right now, currently, if you spend a certain amount, it's been free shipping lately, which has been nice. So yeah, the 5% pretty much got rid of the taxes for me. So, I mean, you know, I don't know if you guys, if that's like a, a thing for y'all, you know, because different pen companies or different pen stores offer the pen, you know, usually at the same price point, but then, you know, you have certain pen uh, retailers that have their perks. And my favorite, of course, is Pen Shelly, because to me, in my opinion, they have the most perks. And, you know, when I spend, you know, these small fortunes, I kind of like it to build up and, and be able to get $20 off or, you know, 15% off here and then. And so to me, that's kind of a big deal. But anyway, <laughs> it was like a long story. I ended up at Goulet. And the reason why is because Goulet was the only retailer to carry the olive wood all-american in a fountain pen so i ended up going with goulet and it's cool you know i got it got here and um so let's go ahead and let's take a look at this pen so it comes in the usual conklin box you've got the dark blue outer sleeve and this is a limited edition by the way and these wood pens are limited editions and they are numbered i've got number 346 out of 898. So there's only 898 of these olive pens or olive wood pens that are made. I don't know if this is out of like all the fountain pens and roller balls or just fountain pens or whatever. I have no idea uh, what that is. So I'm taking off this outer sleeve and you have this really nice dark blue Conklin coffin box or clamshell box. And so we open it up and there is your pen. I think it's nice. It looks nice. So this is a different look than the rest. So now we've got, you know, these different color variations. And so obviously what I've been doing here is next to the rest of its buddies. Let's put it in from light to dark finishes. So what I'm doing is I'm sticking to the same trim, which is rose gold, because I like rose gold. I think it's gorgeous. And now we've got a nice little quattro happening here. I guess it's a little OCD type of thing, but when I collect certain pens, sometimes I just, you know, for it to look cohesive, I like the trim to be the same. I know it's really weird. And with my regular all American pens, you know, it really does bother me that some are silver and some are gold, you know, because all of the nibs are silver. So that drives me absolutely crazy. Uh, so this one, to solve that problem because they do come with like a black nib normally. And I believe I have one of the pens has the original nib. I ended up replacing all my nibs on these wooden all Americans. So no, these all have, okay. So what I ended up doing, they do come with usually a black nib. So just like this. Okay. So the new pen that just got here comes with a black Omniflex. I selected the Omniflex. Ugh. 
I selected the Omniflex nib just because it's their new Yovo Omniflex nibs. I had a great experience with it in my Turquoise Serenity uh, All-American pen. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna give the Omniflex another try. And so I went with this, you know, the black finish on this. But what I ended up doing with these pens is to match the rose gold trim, what I did is I ended up buying a rose gold Bach nib to go on these. And this one actually has a specialty grind from my friend, Kirk Spear. It's a reverse architect grind. Um, but I just think it looks better in my opinion with these rose gold nibs. So that's what I, I believe that Conklin, when they released these, I would have appreciated more with a rose gold nib. And as well as, and I realized that this would not be very cost effective for them, but I believe the section should have been wood also. And I know a lot of y'all have written in and said, well, the wood could stain all that. I don't care. Let it stain. It's just evidence that I use my pens. But I just, you know, there's just like this, you know, thing where I just think everything should kind of go together. So, so sue me. Okay. So uh, the box that comes in, there is some literature that arrives with it. So you have this, this has the, uh, oh, the Conklin Omniflex. The Conklin Omniflex card, you know, it's like, oh, we've got an Omniflex nib that comes in these colors. It's like, okay, well, hey, wait a minute. Why didn't y'all stick the, a rose gold Omniflex with the rose gold trim? I just think those details would be cool because you know what they did here? Since all the nibs come with this black section, black nibs, it's like, I just kind of feel like it's like, well, we'll just throw it together with the different color woods or whatever. And, you know, I just, like I said, I just think it would have been a cooler pen with a wood section and a rose gold nib. It just would have looked really badass. So there, I've said it. Comes with uh, fountain pen refill instructions, as well as a warranty. And I do have to say that, you know, Yaffa Brands, who are the distributors of Conklin, they are really good about it. if they there's a faulty nib or a faulty something on the pen they will you know they're pretty good at replacing things and i do appreciate that on this box you raise the false bottom and it does come with two very sassy ink cartridges and this is something new actually uh, that they're including in there. I haven't seen this before. So we actually have a, a collection guide. Nice, I like that. So this is basically every Conklin pen that they distribute. So that's really cool. Let's open this up. Nice, I like that. This is a nice touch. Oh, and on the back, there's some more stuff you can read, but at the bottom here has some nice vintage ads, which I love vintage ads. They're so cool to look at. So that's pretty cool. So you could actually use this as a map to mark what you have in your collection and what you don't have. So that's actually, you know, that's a nice touch. I wish more companies did that. So I'll probably spend, after I'm done making this video, spend about 10 minutes looking at this and enjoying that. All right, so let's take a closer look at that wood finish. I like this a lot. I think that's really beautiful. It has a nice rocker clip, which I do adore about the Conklings. On the back of that cap, you've got etched in here what edition or which pen out of 898 you've got. On the barrel is Conklin All-American etched into the wood. So that's a really nice touch. It is a screw cap. And here is our Omniflex nib. And black section. I'm not gonna say any more about that, okay? We're done with that, I promise. And let's take it out with another wood pen, then I'll have to say it all over again because every time I open the box and take off the cap and I see that, I'm just like, <sighs> I said I wasn't gonna do that, so I'm not going to. Okay, let's take this barrel off. 
and Conklin pens are great because they do come with their own converter. So you don't have to buy that separately and I totally appreciate it. And the converter also, it screws into the section. So that way it doesn't pop off. You don't have to worry about this popping off or coming out of the section and ink getting everywhere. And I don't know what is going on with this converter, but it has a greasy feeling on it. Why does it feel greasy? That is so bizarre. Maybe the, you know, that maybe they grease that part of the piston or something and it just gets on that. I don't know, that's bizarre. I do like this part though, you know, this is that cohesive, uh, I, that cohesiveness that I do enjoy is the threaded, the threaded parts of the pen are rose gold and it's even rose gold inside of there. It's a very attractive pen. I do, you know, I, I like it. I think it's very gorgeous. And the only thing that's, you know, that'll make or break this deal is how that nib performs. So the last on the flex I got that came with the turquoise all American, it was a bit stiff. It's not very flexy, but I mean, it is a still nib. So you can't expect it to act like a gold flex nib, which I don't expect it to, but I do expect it where I don't have to press so hard to get it to flex. So I'm going to be very interested to see how this nib performs. So I guess the next thing to do is to ink her up. All right, let's do that.
Thank you for joining me for this look at the Conklin Olive Wood All American with the OmniFlex nib. Now, I do believe it's a very attractive pen. And the one thing I did notice after I unboxed it and showed you guys the nib closer up. So this is a problem I have with some of the, the QC or the quality control happening with these nibs. Uh, go back and rewind and check it out, but you'll notice that the tines have a big giant space in between them. The tines are, I don't know, it's not cut right. Something, something is off. They're spread apart really wide and that's a little bizarre, but the pen did function and write well. I mean, I feel like the ink flow is okay. I don't feel like it's gonna hamper anything. I'm gonna, I don't know, I might have to, <laughs> I might have to reach out to Yop and say, hey man, look at this, this nib, it shouldn't be like this. So yeah, that's a little strange. And I'm a little disappointed to be honest with you with uh, Yovo, cause Yovo is supposed to be a little higher quality of a nib and to get it. And then another thing is, and Penboy Roy talks about this as far as like the feeds and uh, the nibs that it's just, the, the fit is like a little, it's not the greatest fit. But that being said, you can buy replacement nibs that are $25, sometimes under that. And for this being a pen that is under $100, I don't think that's a complete deal breaker because for under a hundred dollars for a sub $100 pen, you get a pretty nice pen, real wood. It's very unique and the nib is replaceable. So there's that. But then there's the other side of the argument where you buy a fountain pen and it is, you know, the whole thing about the writing, writing with a fountain pen, the experience lies within the nib. The nib's got to operate better than this. You know, You've, you, you spend money on a pen, even if it's like a $30 pen, you buy a Twisby Eco and you expect when you take that cap off and you have it fully inked up to have a reliable and good writing experience. It doesn't have to be excellent. You know, it's gotta be an excellent writing experience if you're spending like 500 plus and it's a gold nib, right? Or even less than that. I'm just saying that there's just two sides of this, the way that you can view this situation. So I have to say that nib is, it, it writes decent, but just the, the quality control on it is a, it's a huge disappointment. Sorry, Conklin and Yaffa and um, Yovo. No, I, you know what? I'm not sorry because it just, it should be better than that. All right. I feel like I've, I feel like I've ranted a lot on this video. I'm, you know, my apologies. I'm not going to say I'm sorry uh, for that, but my apologies. I'm usually, you know, I usually keep it cool better than that. So I don't know if it's the weather or whatever. <laughs> But yeah, I do, I do feel like I, I ran, I did rant a little bit on this video. So, but sometimes, you know, when you spend the money on a pen, you just want it to be maybe not perfect, but pretty damn close. All right. That's all I've got. Thanks for tuning in. And that's how the ink flows.